¿Cómo está? So in this video, I am going to talk about my experiences um, in Walden University with the, in the master's program. I am currently in the adult gerontology uh, primary care nurse practitioner. So it, it would be AG, PC, and P. Uh, before I get started, I do want to let everybody know that I am not affiliated at all with Walden University. This is solely my review, solely about my experience that um, you guys are going to hear. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As far as my background, just real quick, I am a registered nurse. I graduated and got my ASN uh, from a brick and mortar school. I then went to Western Governors University or WGU for my BSN and I was going to uh, get my master's in science informatics of nursing at WGU. However, I had a change of heart. So I am here at Walden University um, for my adult and gerontology nurse primary care nurse practitioner. I opt out on becoming an FNP family nurse practitioner because just solely because I did not have any interest at all in the pediatrics population. In Walden University you do have to start off with the class called transition to graduate study which is nursing 6003N. So there's two kinds of that particular class I think it's either it runs uh, six weeks or the 11 weeks but it it actually matters or it does depend on your start date anyhow I was put into the 11 weeks class and since I do have some um, master level classes that I took a while ago from my previous school WGU they accepted some of those credits so I am my second class that I am taking in Walden University is essentials of evidence-based practice which is nursing 6052N the transition for nursing is about three it's three credit class and evidence base is a five credit class. They both run um, to 11 weeks and the only thing that I actually have to get used to is uh, the discussion boards, of course, because where I come from, Western Governors University did not have any discussion board. It is self-paced. Anyhow, that's gonna be a different story. Um, the good thing about about it is both class kind of have the same uh, schedule as I would say so for example on week one um, you know every Thursday your discussion board is due right and then on week two on every Monday assignments or your paper excuse me or your paper is due um, so that's it. I mean, you can pretty much, uh, the first couple weeks, I had to kind of find the balance between life, personal life, work life, and school life. But as the weeks progress, I was able to manage um, the schedule and I was able to kind of like just put everything together uh, to make everything work. Um, so those 11 weeks, I, I actually started, uh, let's see, uh, the uh, February 27th, and this, both classes, is actually going to end on May 10th, I would say. I mean, I, I do have an assignment due on May 9th, um, so I'm assuming after that, or maybe it ends on May 9th or May 10th or whatnot. I think it is May 10th. Anyhow, today is May 5th, 2020. So I have one, two, three, four, five days left of the class so far. I mean, obviously it is um, 
intense, um, you know, because I'm not, I do have to go by the schedule and the writing, it's, it's really, really intense. I, I am very glad that, you know, I was definitely prepared in writing papers, especially I, I did a lot of writing in my BSN program. Um, you know, I'm very familiar with the APA format um, and, and just the research. It's very intense, especially with the COVID-19 uh, situation. I'm actually breaking out from, from, from the mask. I mean, I was working in a COVID unit floor um, and, you know, with all the stress and just making sure that my family stays healthy and, you know, with the schoolwork. So, yeah, definitely, definitely was a very intense um, 11 weeks, but I'm glad it's over. Um, so the next class that I am taking after this is going to be advanced pathophysiology and advanced farm pharmacology and then I have health assessment and then I am down to doing my clinicals anyways I wanted to do a transition to graduate study focused uh, video and as well as essential of evidence-based practice um, focus video and just to kind of talk about some pointers and my experiences and hopefully it will help out others that are in the same journey as myself and that's pretty much it uh, thanks thank you guys for watching and hope you guys like the video and if you do please subscribe